today's prayer with the hymn, Come to the Table of Mercy. Please join in if you want. So what do we expect of our students? And it's together on this document, and I'll just ask, I'll copy them onto there, so Angel will give you a couple of seconds to have a glance at each one. What are the expectations of the staff mm -hmm. and the board of trustees? So it's very clear for any teacher coming into the school, for any trustee, these are the things that we as a school expect of you. And what what fascinated me was the same, the, the bottom one. When it, when it, when the whole document eventually went back to the board, one of them said, no one said anything about the brand of St. Teresa's, because St. Teresa's is known to be a school that's a warm caring, and that's got to be protected. So they insisted that that final one is there. The brand, St. Teresa's brand is valued. I'd never ever thought of it like that. Except because you're in education, not in the business world, but someone from the business world comes in with a different view. So this is St. Teresa's, and what we have here is valued, which I think was a lovely way with the facilitator. And she said, you haven't actually stated, we've stated why we wanted to do inquiry learning, but you haven't actually stated what you want your children to be when they leave school. <coughs> and these were all things that were in going through this document, lovely bright orange, um, they, they were all going through this. So all, what we did is we added that statement. We want our children to have a sense of self-worth and be spiritually, spir spiritually strong, I haven't been drinking, active thinkers, effective communicators, culturally responsive, environmentally active, active and globally connected. And all that is reflected through what we do. And then we broke it up. And I'll just put one in to show you as an example. So when we say we want our children to be spiritually strong, we mean that they will have the confidence to be proudly Catholic in the way they live their lives and be actively involved in the life of the parish in the school. Along. And then we move and we have, we used to meet in here in the library and we set the, the tables out and the children come after school sometimes and sometimes we've been able to meet during the day depending on how busy they are, um, which tends to be after school <laughs> now. Um, it is a very relaxed atmosphere. Um, we, we worked with Father Romeo when he was here and he would come and sit with us and with between the three of us we would run through the program and we, we just sort of bounced off each other which was beautiful. So by the time, if you ever get the privilege of meeting him, he's lovely, absolutely lovely. And he came on and he's like, I really wanted children. So we sat down and we met and we um, had this whole discussion of what you know we do. And I personally really enjoy going to adoration. There are times when out of the hour that I'm there, there might be two minutes that I'm actually focused on Jesus, I'm honest with you. And then the other 60 taking me two is 58. Mm -hmm. 
Um, <laughs> but it's, you know, where your mind sort of drifts away. And then there are other times when you're in front of Jesus and you, your whole being is just transformed because you're just like, whoa, Jesus is here, you know, the wall is not up and everything is just amazing. So I really wanted to share that part of my faith with the children as well. So talking to Father Antoine, everything just clicked. Let me have a go at that one now.